Now every veg truck comes complete with its own liner. Okay, now this is to separate the growing medium from the veg truck itself, obviously keeping the wood in pristine condition. Now I'm gonna put this in position. I'm gonna fill it full of the growing medium. I'd recommend a good quality multi-purpose compost with John in his number three. And when you come back in just a few moments, we'll be ready to show you how to plant it. Okay, now I've repositioned the veg truck, um, which was obviously running left to right as you're looking at it when we were constructing it. The reason I've done that is because this fits better with my garden. I can get behind it still, of course, so I can access both sides of it. Um, it's taking up the minimum amount of space for me, but of course the biggest consideration is once it's full of this growing medium, it would be much more difficult to move. So ensure that you've got it exactly where you want it before you've actually filled it full of the growing medium, ready to plant up. Okay, so what I've done is I've used a mixture of good quality multi-purpose compost and I've also included some John in his number three compost. Now, John in his number three is particularly good because it's full of extra nutrients. That's why it's um, used by so many gardeners, particularly for long-term plantings. And because we want this to last for several seasons and have lots of goodness within it, that's why we've done that. So um, this is now perfect, absolutely perfect for planting each of the um, vegetables and salads that I've got planned here. So I've got cabbages, I've got winter cabbages in fact, we've got some curly kale, we've got some spring onions and we've got some lettuce which is going to be ready to crop in around about a month or so's time. I've got several things here that I'm really excited about. The first thing is I've got a couple of strawberries. This is a variety called Flamenco, um, which is absolutely super. Lovely root systems. And I'm actually gonna use my hands here to pop these in. I'm gonna grow these in these corners for the very specific reason. When these fruit, which will of course now be next summer, I'm gonna get lovely boughs of fruit growing there. Now I'm gonna leave the liner in position. Of course, you can either tuck it down to hide it or you can trim it off to suit yourselves. I'm gonna leave it in position because I think it will just give the wood a little bit more protection and of course the plants will, in general, cover over that surface anyway. So I'm gonna be picking probably four pounds, maybe five pounds of strawberries from those two plants next year. Another plant which I'm really, really excited about is this Australian mint. It's a, an edible mint that you can use for your new potatoes and all sorts of other things, but it's from Australia. so gorgeous and look at that root system absolutely amazing I'm gonna pop this up this corner out here okay in she goes I'm actually gonna leave the label there just so we remember what it is but that's a gorgeous Australian mint okay so I've got some lovely um, curly kale, very, very winter hardy. So I'm just gonna pop that there. This is a, a cut and come again vegetable. So you literally can pull off a few leaves as you need it. So literally just three or four plants is as much as an average household would need to give them, you know, a good regular picking there. And goes number two. For this particular item, I'm just gonna put three plants because I think that's just about the right enough amount for me and the family. Now I've got some lovely winter cabbage. Just look at these gorgeous plants. I've grown these on in little trays ready to plant out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to space these around about eight inches apart. I'm just going to start over here. So number one just there and of course winter cabbage grows really well at this time of year it's particularly hardy and it's ideally suited to this type of system number two i'm gonna do a nice row of this all the way along the front here so i'm just going to pop the last of my winter cabbage in here which of course i'm going to grow really well and then the final addition which i'm going to save for this area here will be the salad leaves that I'm going to plant in here and they're going to be ready to crop in literally a month or so from when I plant them. Beautiful root systems, white roots are the ones you're always looking for because that shows the plants growing nice and healthily. 
try and avoid any of the foliage physically being buried into the compost. So just lift the foliage out like that. So I've deliberately picked a mixture of green leaved varieties and the red leaved varieties because that means when I have a salad I can have a mixture of those two different colours. And that really is now absolutely ready. I've got strawberries for next year. I've got my curly kale and my winter cabbage. I've got these lovely salads and of course I've got that Australian mint that's gonna be useful for vegetables and all sorts of things all the way through the whole of the year. So this is the veg truck, it's already planted and it will just now be a matter of a few weeks before I'll be picking my first sumptuous, beautiful salad crop from this. So you've seen just how easy it is to construct the veg truck and how quick and simple it is to plant it up. So if you'd like more growing instructions, go to vegtrug.com where you'll find out even more information to help you get the very best from your veg truck. <laughs>